Hey, I'm going to do another video here on uh, how uh, gardening uh, reflects uh, your life and the situations you're in. Uh, it's As I'm going out here thinking, I don't know why I'm thinking, but I'm just, just thinking, just things just popping into my head. And, and in the past, I haven't really had a, a way of documenting or, or didn't uh, bother doing it. Well, now I'm, I'm doing it as I, things pop in my head. Uh, I'll forget them later uh, if I don't bring them on a uh, video or, or share them. So uh, I'm going to go over a little bit here on uh, uh, what I'm thinking about uh, as I was uh, moving the sweet potato vines around, what I was thinking at that time. So let me pause the video and I'll come back when I get it turned around. Okay, here, here we have the watermelon plant and it likes to just send the roots out. And what I've been doing is trying to weed it and I don't know if you can see, but I've been circling it around where it starts. It starts here in the, in the middle and then now I've got it wrapping around. And kind of the advantage of that is, as it wraps around, it's going to shade it and weeds aren't going to start. And, and I did kind of the same thing with some of the sweet potatoes. Uh, they want to just go wherever. So I've been directing them so I have a path down the middle. So as I walk through, I don't step on like this one here. It was eventually wanting to go out over this way. Well, I moved it over this way. It's like when you take uh, an employee and just, you know, let them go, no direction. Uh, they're just going to go wherever where they want to and then uh, then when you complain because they're not where you want them uh, it, it it doesn't do much good so uh, what I've been doing is see like this one here is is getting over here in the trail that I want to be able to walk on in between them so I'll just kind of guide it over to this side and let it let it go it's going to grow how it wants to grow anyway but if I can give a little direction uh, then it's going to do a lot better because it's not going to try and have to compete. Like over here, I haven't picked all this grass out of here yet, uh, the weeds. Uh, so I'm going to be working on that. See this one here, it's sending them out here right in the path I'd like to be able to walk down. So what I do is take these and just kind of gently move them over, guide, give them guidance uh, of where, where they need to go. And, and that's a thing that... Uh, I've seen in my career of working for 50 plus years, uh, a lot of companies, they, they say they, they're, they're for their employees, but they don't really guide them. They send them one way, let them go off, and then when they don't do what the, they want, then they complain why you're not doing it the right way when you're doing it the, the way that uh, you knew how to do it and they didn't give you any guidance of where else to go. So I'm trying to do that with the plants here and give them a little guidance as to where they need to go. Uh, so I've got, I've got stuff I picked a whole bunch uh, later. Um, the other half of this one, I'm going to go over, you know, harvesting uh, the, the tomatoes. I've gotten lots and lots of tomatoes over the last uh, uh, week. And that's kind of like uh, when you have a, someone that you guide and they go in the right direction, you're going to have a lot of good harvest from, from, from that person. I see another cucumber down here. This variety grows really long. Not real, real, doesn't get real fat, but it gets long. Um, so the, the pickling ones, I see if I let them go too long, they get really fat and get a lot of seeds in them. So I like to uh, pick them when they're a little bit younger. But they're, they're all doing this. There's, there's more of them in here. Every time I walk by, I thought I picked them all yesterday. But uh, there's more in here. There's one over there I have to pick from the other side. But uh, there's there's always good good stuff coming out when when you, you give the plants the environment they want and let them go. And uh, this, I think there's going to be more tomatoes than what I can deal with here real soon. So... That's that's kind of my my thoughts today. I'll second half of this. I'll actually show how much I've gotten out of the garden uh, so far. Most of cucumbers and snow peas. Uh, I do have a couple of tomatoes. I showed one yesterday. A tomato getting ripened, and there's another one, and one of the other ones that's starting to get get ripe. I picked a few more weeds in here. I say I got a lot to pick, so. Get over here and see, get a good view of of that one. You can see that one down there is starting to turn a little yellow on the top, right down here. So it won't be a few more days, and uh, 
we're able to eat our first tomatoes this year. Uh, always like fresh tomatoes. Uh, th this one down here is looking more than like what you buy in most of the grocery stores. So it's it's getting getting ready. If I wanted grocery store quality tomatoes, I'd pick it now. But I want good good quality product. Uh, that's always a, a thing when you find somebody that makes a good quality product. Uh, you need to stay with it. Well, I'm getting more and more cucumbers. I'm going to have to shut the video off. You, know, you don't really want to watch me pick cucumbers. So... Uh, I'll continue on when I get in and show you how many cucumbers I've picked in the last couple of days. Let me start the harvesting part of this out with showing uh, uh, what I collected on uh, Tuesday after we got back from our, our trip to Denver. And then since then, uh, I've, I've picked all these cucumbers, a lot of them here. And, and then I did pick some of my beets and some more snow peas have a good harvest and there's lots more flowers on the cucumbers so I'm going to have a lot more um, and then you know equating that to you know how you treat uh, uh, your workers uh, when you when you plant the good seeds and then nourish them give them nice fertile ground uh, to grow and keep the weeds out of the bad thoughts out uh, this is the type of production you'll get out of out of your plants or uh, the people you're working with just want to end this with uh, uh, showing kind of what I had. Now, now what I got to do is uh, I'm going to cut them up and can them, and uh, some I'll keep for fresh, and some I'll give away. And uh, you know, as people uh, uh, enjoy cucumbers, I'll do that. Uh, tomatoes, uh, I did find one ripe cherry tomato, and I picked that and ate that right away. But I got some tomatoes that are coming up, so I have a lot of tomatoes and cucumbers coming up real soon. So I have lots of good food. So don't forget to uh, follow me and. Uh, um, Watch for other videos coming out. Thanks for watching.